I'm a pathologist. I've taken part in pathology panels. I've helped in a small way uh, with the advances in pathology. And uh, I think uh, what pathology has changed, evolved over the years, is that a pathologist from someone sitting in the basement looking down a microscope, he's now become a crucial part of a multidisciplinary team. Uh, the other role I've done is that I've started a large number of cell lines, both small cell and non-small cell, and these form the basis for much of the in vitro model work that has been done in the field of lung cancer with uh, perhaps uh, nearly 20,000 citations to that work. When we entered the field uh, in 1976, John Menner was my boss and still is, and he, he had the foresight to say that um, we got to understand biology so that we can develop rational methods of treatment. And to, to understand biology, we need cell lines, because that's the only model we have then. Right now we have gem models and we have xenographs, uh, but then we only had cell lines. And so he assigned me the job of starting cell lines. We only had about two at that time. And uh, now we got uh, several hundred, perhaps 300 and they formed m much of the basis of what we understand about the biology of lung cancer, develop new treatments, study mutations, understand resistance, and so forth. I think ISLC has grown from about 200 members to several thousand. Attendance has gone up, God knows how many fold, it, and it's, it's gone from every three years to every year. And every year, every meeting has been a highly successful one, uh, both for the ISLC, it, it's a, uh, ISLC gets much out of the meetings, but the members and lung cancer and thoracic oncology uh, is, is, are the big beneficiaries. What I've noticed, a new tendency, and I think it's a wonderful tendency, is to get patient advocates involved. So before, we never, we never had that concept. But now. To, to have patients closely involved, intimately involved in, in decision making uh, is so important. And uh, I, I'm very skeptical when I heard about patient advocates, but now I think we can't do without them. ISLC has supported many different programs, but one thing it's always felt was that pathology was important. I saw the pathology panel at the ISLC conference held in Toronto in 1985, uh, headed by a very distinguished pathologist, Dr. Mary Matthews. And we were told we had to meet and form a pathology panel. But they didn't give us a room. So, so we pulled up a few chairs and met behind the stairwell. And that's the start of the pathology panel. I think, except for the first meeting, I've attended every one of them. It's, a wonderful organization. I'm very proud to be a member and support this great organization that's done so much for lung cancer.